Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the month of August. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now keep in mind that this is for the month of August. It could resonate at any time. It may not resonate the exact day that you watch it. This is like a preview. Okay, it's a preview. So when you watch it, it may not resonate. It may, but it may not. So keep that in mind. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is a message from my guides. Okay, I use the cards like all the other readers do, but this is really coming from my guides. Okay, so keep that in mind. I don't always go by the meaning of, of the cards. I go by what my guides, my gut tells me. I am Taurus represented by the Hierophant, which is the gut. Okay, so that's where my messages come from. So we are going to get started. This is for Aquarius, August. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aquarius? This one's not meant to be reversed because it's just not. Um, Aquarius, two of winter, two of swords. Indecision is holding you back. Indecision is holding you back, Aquarius? Ain't that the truth? That is the truth. 100%. This is the two of swords. Make the choice that's best for you, rather than trying to please others. I think we, should, we don't even need to, need to go any further, because this is the answer to your question. I mean, we are going to go further, but this is the answer to your question. This is the overall energy of the month. Stop trying to please other people. I know that you are a humanitarian. I know that. And you want to please everybody. But there comes a time in your life when you need to take care of you. Because if you aren't taking care of you, how can you effectively take care of everybody else? Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you. And you notice how this card flipped right out. I didn't even really get to shuffle. Somebody might end up flipping out. Because they're not following their truth. They're not following their heart. Listening to somebody. So there could be a flip out session. Just saying. Anyway. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. You have to make a decision Aquarius. And you need to stop stalling as well. Aquarius. Make the decision that is best for you. Please. Please. One card for Aquarius, please. Manifest. You have the power. You have the tools. You have all the resources that you need to bring heaven right down here to earth. To bring it right into your life. You have the tools. You have the resources. You can succeed. But, but, of course there's a but. The magician has to be willing to shed the old. And that is no joke. So there is something that needs to be shed there's something that you need to let go of to bring in the new. You have to be willing to let go of something to have the heaven that you deserve. To have the life that you deserve. To have the success that you want. You have to be willing to change and you have to be willing to go after what you are passionate about. You have a divine connection. You have a oneness with the universe. Use it to your advantage. You have the opportunity to manifest success. But you have to dig out those resources. And that includes discipline. And that includes self-love. And that includes self-worth. And that includes taking action. You got to use all the resources. Taking new approaches. You have the tools to be successful. 
Don't doubt it for one second. Whoever it is that is holding you back, they are holding you back. They are holding you back. One card for Aquarius. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Now let me let me just fix this up a little bit. You deserve to be loved. Open your heart to receive love. Because you deserve it. And that's the truth. Oh, this is absolutely a freaking common theme. There's no doubt about it. This has been half. It's hard to. <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out what this means. Why one card keeps staying. It's happened multiple times in my readings. There's got to be a reason why one is not picking up. Somebody is not picking up. It's like it's not picking up. That, that's a message. It just won't come up. Lack of faith. Lack of trust. Don't believe. Disbelief. Not listening to your gut. Home. I almost swore. We got somebody here who's not listening to their gut. This go taking the traditional approach. What's everybody else got to say? Oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry. Come on now. You're not listening to your higher power? You're too worried about whatever what somebody else is gonna say? That's too bad. Maybe you're fearful. Some of you are married and you're afraid of legal issues. You're afraid of getting a divorce. You're afraid of what you're going to lose. <laughs> oh, well, absolutely. What am I going to lose? What are you going to lose? What are you going to lose? What are you going to gain? You're going to gain self-respect. You're going to gain self-esteem. You're going to gain self-love. <laughs> You're going to gain abundance. Right now, you need to take action. Right now, there's insecurities holding you back. You need to find your discipline. Realize that whoever this person is that is that is holding you back, they don't complete you. They don't even really support you. Oh, God. Yeah, it is, oh, God. This is toxic. It's unhealthy. Could be an obsession. Could be very much. Somebody might be staying in a situation just for the roof. You know, the materialistic reasons. You know, there's a roof right here. You know, it's very materialistic. It's toxic. It's unhealthy. That You could be addicted. There could be addictions that are in the way. There's codependency issues. It's definitely unhealthy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Virgo. We've got Earth here. But this is you needing to make that decision. It's like you're stuck. You're trapped. And I think that one of the reasons you're trapped is because of materialistic reasons. Okay? Material money. Roof. Something like that. Um, ego. This is a card of ego as well. The person you're dealing with may have a very big ego. They may be very, very controlling. You may be dealing with somebody who has a big ego. They're very controlling. They may be sexy. Whatever. They aren't healthy for you. Not healthy. Not healthy at all. Sorry, they're not. Anyhow, two of wands reversed. This is uh, fear of change, indecisiveness. You're restricting yourself. I think that you've been delaying. You you have an opportunity to deal with this obstruction that is in your way, but you're not doing anything. It's safe. It's safe where you're at, right? It's like a, it's safe. This is safe. At least I got somebody. You know, I got some. I got somebody backing me up. But the fact of the matter is, is this person is not healthy for you, and that's the truth. And I don't care who likes me. Um. Hmm. 
It's time to move. It's time to get moving. Move, 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 move. Move. All right, it's time to end this chapter. This is the it's, this is the end of a phase, a prominent phase in your life. This is the very end of this journey. It's time for you to get your ass in gear, get in the driver's seat and get get moving. Take the lead, take the reins, take back control from this unhealthy, toxic situation. This is a lesson. This person is teaching you a lesson. Yes, they are. They're teaching you a lesson about something. Let's see what we can get here. Love, about self-love, about what love is, about love, about self-love. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. This is, this is, you know, it feels as though we have somebody here that doesn't have any moral backbone. Somebody that doesn't have any moral backbone to start over. I, I don't know if I can. Doesn't have the backbone to do the right thing for themselves. My advice to you. is to follow your heart. Follow your heart. You would be better off alone than staying in this unhealthy situation. Unless, of course, you haven't learned your lesson about what love really is. I feel as though you have a new opportunity for love here. Externally. It's like you have somebody that probably wants to love you. There's an opportunity for love here. You might have to become single first. You may have to move out of your current place of living to actually be with this person. I feel as though you are on in a, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. So I feel like you need to take a break. You need to go within. You are in a place where there's like no outlet. There's no outlet. You're, you're at a dead end and you need to find your mental strength to move in a new direction. So I feel like there is right now your challenge is moving. Your challenge is is getting ready. Your challenge is communicating open openly how you feel, telling the truth, acting with integrity. This is your challenge position, the 8 of wands. I think that you are ready. You're ready. You want to. You want to. You want to move. You want to get going. But in order for you to get going, you're going to have to be act with integrity. You're going to have to tell the truth. You're going to have to find that moral backbone to start over someplace else, not knowing what's going to happen when you step into that new environment. I feel as though you have somebody here that, you know, is offering you love or offering you emotional support. They may want you to move. They may be like, you know, you got to move. You got to move. And you got to find your mental strength to do that. I feel as though um, you do have a major new beginning here. You do. But I, there's fear of the unknown. You may be fearful. I, this is fear. Devil is ruled by fear. Fear of, of starting over someplace else. I have to tell you that you will be successful. You will be. This is successful. You will be successful. It's with, but you will have to step out of your safety zone. And that takes mental strength to face your demons, to face your fears. Unless you want to let the devil you know, control you for the rest of your life. And unless you want to stay in a situation that is unhealthy where there's no love, it looks good to everybody else, but there ain't no love there. So I feel as though you have an opportunity for love, but you are going to have to, you know, stop denying it. Stop stalling. I feel as though you need to speak the truth. You need to be forthright. You need to have no fear. You need to do the right thing. You need to take a new approach. And you need to do what's best for you. That is the overall advice right there. Speak up. So I feel like this is a month of you sticking up for yourself, Aquarius. Standing your ground. Standing in your power and taking your power back. You may need to be assertive. You are going to need to be on your toes and you are going to need to speak up. You have a new beginning here. All you have to do 
is go for it. This could lead to a lot of happiness. A lot. Extreme happiness. A reason to actually celebrate. This could be a divine connection that you are throwing away. Don't do it. Don't do it because of another person or other people. Because of what society says. This is a lesson. Remember I said what is the lesson this person is trying to teach you? This lesson is about happiness and love. What is going to make you happy? This person is, is, is teaching you about what love is and what love is not. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choice that's best for you. Rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Remember I said? Follow your heart. My advice is to follow your heart. Because this could lead to an extremely happy, successful, emotionally fulfilling commitment. But you will, you will have to let go of something because that's what the magician does. You have to let go of something that is holding you back. And you know what it is. I know that you do. Good luck.